Lying along the banks of Sungai Kinta is Batu Gaja, an unassuming former tin mining town where life tends to move at a slower, more gentle pace. Over the years, Batu Gaja has seen a fair amount of development put in place to improve the quality of life in the area, both commercially and aesthetically. These days, Batu Gaja is a clean and scenic town that can boast, amongst other things, the usual popular Western food outlet brands. On the tourism side, a must-visit place in Batu Gaja is Kelly's Castle, a pre-independence castle built by Scottish rubber tycoon Sir William Kelly Smith. It was meant to be the hub of social activities for the wealthy colonial planters and administrators. A grand mansion complete with six-storey tower, wine cellar, stately columns, and Moorish arches. There was even meant to be an elevator, the very first of this kind in the country. But building on the magnificent Kelly's Castle was never completed due to the demise of its owner and creator, Mr. William Kelly Smith, back in December 1926. Now, although Kelly is buried in a British cemetery, legend has it that his spirit still roams the corridors of Kelly's Castle, the owner guarding his grand mansion, so to speak. Having been a strong DAP constituency in the past, Batu Gaja will see Barisan National's Low Tin Tuck take on DAP's V. Siva Kuma in a straight fight for the parliamentary seat. Canvassing opinions on the streets of Batu Gaja, we met some locals who had a clear vision for what they would like to see happen come polling day on May the 5th. Pilihan raya yang akan datang ini, saya akan pilih Barisan Nasional. Sebab apa? Sebab kerajaan Malaysia sekarang dah aman, okey. Tapi kalau pilih kita pilih lagi satu kerajaan, mungkin tak tentu apa jadi. Ha, sebab tu saya pilih Barisan Nasional. Duit, something to the uh, country. Ha? Hmm. Like, uh, you see the, this one lah. Our privilege. No, no. Yeah. Uh, then the economy very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so no corruption lah. Okay. Okay. So, 